What's the best remembrance to have with us on a daily basis to have the ego chained up on a short lease? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, if I see you in Florida, I'm going to wash you up. <coughs> Tariqat is not a way of magic spells and secret duas that you have and then all your problems magically they are going to disappear and blessings magically they are going to appear. No, it's not. You're asking me what kind of zikr you can make to step on your ego? Hmm. We may even tell you that means <laughs> Don't do any zikr. Just step on your ego. Whatever your ego wants, you say no. Are you like that? That is going to be your wazifa. Your ego says, uh, I, want to, I want to rest now. Say no, don't rest. Sit up for a while. For the sake of Allah. Your ego says, I want to eat now. Says no, don't eat now. Sit for a little bit for the sake of Allah. That time you're controlling. You want? A method of controlling your ego, to keep your ego on a short leash, do that. It's better than doing zikr and then letting whatever your ego wants to do and you just let it do. Do you understand? The fight, this is called the Jihadul Akbar. The biggest fight is against yourself. The fight against yourself is not just by saying a couple of things, secret dua, some zikr and then your anger just going to disappear like that. Your arrogance just going to disappear like that. It is not. Islam is not based. The Prophet ﷺ did not come to just work miracles and everything is happening miraculously. They were flesh and blood. They lived for years. They were happy and they were sad. They were sick and they were healthy. They bled. They gave everything as humans. You understand? Now you want to progress on the spiritual way. It is not through mantras and you do this and no. It is understanding yourself. It is knowing yourself. Why we're concentrating? Sitting down, listening to sohbat, there is a certain adab. Why we're concentrating? Sometimes when you're making zikr, there must be a certain discipline. There is discipline in everything. In prayer, in the Hanafi Mazhab, you cannot make three movements consecutively. Eh? You cannot do that. You're, you cannot just pray and then you do anything that you want to do. There is a discipline for that. You cannot, your ego says, uh, now I need to scratch. You, you're praying and then you just scratch. Of course, people do that, but it doesn't mean it's right. Some people, they're praying, their phone is ringing, they pick up, hello, I'm praying right now, don't call me, call me later, okay, with Allahu Akbar and this stuff. Those are people who are without any knowledge. You understand? Why we are concentrating on that now? Now maybe it's easy for you to say Allah, 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 Allah. But it is very hard for you now to sit still for 5 minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Very difficult now. You're going to go crazy. This is going against your ego. It is easy for you now to stay up whole night to read the Quran, but easy for you to do that. But it is very difficult for you when somebody says to you, Hey, you donkey. It is very, very difficult for you just to remain calm and not to get angry. This tariqat is based on sohbat. The sohbat, it is advice for the people. Religion, without the advice, without sohbat, is gone, is empty. Now you have the shell. People are doing things, but there is no spirit anymore. It's gone. So you're asking me, for your ego to get chained up, your ego is like an animal. You have to train that animal. We're living here, we cannot say so many words like that. 
But say, for example, some people, not me, some people, if they have animals and they want to perform in a circus, not that I'm encouraging it, I'm just saying, they want to make the lion to go through the fire, uh, what do they do to that animal? They talk to it? No, they have to train it to go against to its nature. Now, maybe your nature is to be jealous all the time. You think it is your nature. Yes, it is part of your egoistic nature. You have to train that now. That is a big process also. That, you have to have a guide. That, you have to have consultation. That, day to day, there are certain things that you have to do. Allah, make it easy for you, inshallah. We will speak more when I see you. Assalamu